the design procedure of asynchronous sequential circuit. So first uh, we have to identify all the states. Okay, so this is normal procedure in all every design, whether it is synchronous or uh, asynchronous. We have to so we have to identify all the states. Okay, so after that, write a state table. So this is a usual procedure, um, sequential also. So we have to go with state table. But uh, in when you are designing asynchronous circuit, so instead of state table, you can say that flow table. Okay, assign codes to the state. So they are uh, whether they are going with binary coding or uh, one hot encoding. So that coding you will do. You may use output as a state variable and assign other variables as needed. So they are telling that output uh, is the function of state variable. Like in case of Moore, you know that output is a function of state variable and assign other variable as needed. If you need other input variable also, you can uh, uh, assign those variable. Okay. So they are telling like. Uh, Output may be a function of input or the input or a state variable. Okay, so it depends. So they are telling both, and so because they are see you, you can see you may use output as a state variable or assign other variables as needed. So many inputs may also come to the output. Okay, so reduce if necessary the uh, by combining compatible state. So after that you have to go for state minimization. So if some states are common, you can combine those things and you can reduce the number of states. But uh, usually this thing is uh, done by a synthesis tool also means uh, optimization. This is optimization uh, sort of thing. You can uh, perform this thing using synthesis also. Make sure transition between states are safe. Okay, adjust as necessary. So what they are trying to say that um, uh, whenever uh, your state machine is trans uh, transitioning from one state to another state, we should take care your state machine may go to some unknown state also and uh, there may be as you found some deadlock conditions so you should always make sure that uh, mm, our state machine is uh, uh, going through all the possible and uh, possible states like whichever uh, designer has designed okay so like in uh, synchronous designs also we are assigning next state to three tick b uh, means uh, uh, x value whenever uh, it is going to some unknown state so that is used for debugging so same concept you can use here also synthesize opti uh, uh, output and state logic make sure to avoid hazards on the transition so after that after designing states after coding they are telling that you should synthesize the output and the you, sh you should synthesize your finite state machine okay so after that you uh, after synthesizing you make sure that hazards are, are not there in the transition also okay means uh, even after getting the gate level at least they are telling that you should check for these hazards on the transitions now race analysis we'll see how it is all transition here changes only one state variable no race so what they are trying to say all transition here changes only one state variable no race so you see a transition 0 to 1 transition here changes only one state variable so only one state variable state variables so no difference is only one if you have to 0 0 0 compare only one okay 0 1 1 1 you have compare only one state okay 1 1 1 0 0 1 2 1 okay one. so what difference you are talking uh, means uh, i am not getting uh, like break code no? okay Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so what they're trying to say is, oh, they are using this uh, gray code here. So only the change in transition means they are telling that only one bit is changing at a time. So that is what they are trying to say, right? So the because of this, no races. Okay. No, they have implemented one uh, S not in S one. Okay. S not uh, S one. Okay, initially you are in A state, okay? This state. So you are going to. No, no, no. Actually, this is input. Actually, this table they have implemented, okay? A, B, C, B bar, C bar D, okay? Same you form uh, right in terms of table, okay? So this they are telling S1, this they are telling S0, and this is the input. Why there are roundings actually? A, B, C. Mm, rounding A, B, C, D. Exactly, I don't know here. why they're rounding means C O B. We'll see wha what they're telling, what reasons they are giving. Okay, we'll okay. see this. Uh, 